And this is Epic aka PJE and welcome back to another video here on my channel and today I'm bringing you fucking some Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background it's just you know some Shadow Claw gameplay I got yesterday when I was playing with a friend uh, we were both using Shadow Claws so uh, the gameplay is pretty good in my opinion for uh, you know, Shadow Claw gameplay so yeah today I just want to talk about uh, basically COD in general basically or where where is caught heading i don't know it's one of those two could be anyone this this video could go in either one of those ways uh is caught going up or is it going down in my opinion it's going down it's going down new cod is bringing the cod community down but the release of cod for remastered is something different um when the it sucks that the COD 4 remaster isn't its very own standalone, which sucks. It, you have to pre-order Infinite Warfare in order to get COD 4 remastered. That's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people are basically just getting, just buying $70 worth of a game they're not going to play just so they can play COD 4, which is frankly ridiculous. COD 4 should be its own standalone DLC. That's what it should be. It's own standalone. Um, even if the people do pre-order the game and they give you COD 4 and Infinite Warfare, they're not gonna play Infinite Warfare. And they're still gonna play COD 4, which is which is strange. I, I mean, it's not strange. I completely understand because so far they have only showed the uh, campaign part of Infinite Warfare. They haven't really seen the multiplayer part. The multiplayer part could be actually good because you know Infinity War makes some great cards. So if why why would Infinite Warfare be their only card that sucks a dick? It's just, that is just the campaign part. We don't we don't know about the multiplayer yet and how the multiplayer works. Which I, I don't know why people think that um, if they see campaign gameplay it's multiplayer it's, it's it's two different things multiplayer and campaign are two different things they always have and they always will be there are some games on there are some either sometimes there are even some weapons that are only exclusive to campaign but i think uh black ops 3 and i think a few other cards were the only ones that didn't have it i know i think it was no it was it was black ops 2 Black Ops 2, they had the Galil in campaign, but you couldn't use it online. Yeah, I remember. I think, it, yeah, yeah, it was Black Ops 2. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, Infinite Warfare. Will it suck? Maybe. Tell you the truth, maybe it will suck. I'm not, I'm not hating the game. Because I'm not hating something I know nothing about, so why um why would I even you know have some well basically I have assumptions over the game, but it wouldn't be a legit one. It would just be like you know this and that. You know? But um yeah, so I'm gonna leave you guys to the rest of the gameplay. Uh, I hope you guys like like this video. If you guys want to see more, feel free to you know comment down below and i hope you guys are looking forward to the end of the giveaways the winners will be announced on saturday uh a saturday sunday or monday if it's not on the weekend it's monday because um I, i'm really busy during the weekend so i don't know if i'm able to even get a video of announcing the winners or even distributing the accounts on the weekend so it'll either be uh on the weekend or monday next week when I will get the winners and uh, distribute the accounts, announce them so they know that they won. And yeah, so if you guys haven't already joined the um, the giveaway, there's still two days left, so there's still a chance you guys can win with the two days left. I will leave the clean link down in the description below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. This is Epic, aka TJE. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.
to get off their darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers to see this too